Kenny Kunin shot at while driving in Johannesburg. Kunin was apparently caught in a rain of bullets in what may have been a hijacking gone wrong. The citizen understands that well-known businessman and socialite Kenny Kunin has allegedly been shot at while driving a car in Johannesburg. It's possible it was just a hijacking gone wrong, although there is speculation it may be related to media stories about Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa. Several bullets were allegedly fired at the car, many of which left visible damage on a blue BMW. Kunin was traveling with a female passenger. No one was injured. SAP's spokesperson Brigadier Mothapello Peters confirmed there was evidence at the scene of a shooting as spent cartridges had been found. However, she was unable to confirm any specific details as to the motive and nature of the alleged crime and said that investigations were still underway to establish the facts. According to Kunin, his friend Sunday Independent editor Stephen Modell had been meant to be traveling in the car with him, but bodyguards moved Modell to another vehicle prior to their departure. Modell has said he's been receiving death threats ahead of and since publishing stories about Ramaphosa's personal life and his alleged affairs. Kunin told the citizen these threats started being made through phone calls to Modell. Kunin has also been breaking stories about the so-called Ramaphosa email leaks on his website, Weekly Spose. He told the citizen by phone on Tuesday night that at about 9 p.m. he was approaching Corlett Drive in Santon near the M1 when a group of men in a white Lexus SUV pulled up and he realized he was in trouble. A shaken Kunin said, I reversed to get away. When I hit the pavement, they came and shot at us. He said he saw at least two men, one of them in a white cap. The cops say they have found 12 bullet casings at the scene, he said. The police said they could not confirm any particular details for the moment. Kunin claims that he drove into a gated community and the men fled on the M1 heading south. An old lady heard the bullets, the gunshots, and called the security guards. The cops came. At first they didn't take the casings. They took us first to the police station but then brought us back to the scene where they found the casings.